Hey friends, it's Miku and the Mickey the Cat back again. A couple weeks ago, I posted a short video showing you how I crocheted a little monster head for Mickey. A lot of you seem to enjoy it, so this week I want to share the full tutorial. You can make hats for your cute pets or even little stuffed toys. Okay, let's get started. First, let's start with the magic ring. Once that's done, we'll chain one to get to the height of a double crochet. And remember, this initial chain doesn't count as a stitch. It's just to get us to the right height. And now we'll work 12 double crochets into the ring. Yarn over, insert a hook into the ring. Yarn over again, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. That's your first double crochet. Go ahead and place a stitch marker in it so we can find it easily when we join in this round. And then continue working double crochet until you have a total of 12. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through two. Great, you should now have 12 double crochets. Next, pull the tail of the magic ring to close it. Then slip stitch into the first stitch to join the round. Remove the stitch marker and insert a hook into that first stitch. You can pull it a little bit tight, which can lighten up the join. And yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through the loop on your hook. That's a slip stitch. And then chain two to get a height. This round is 12 double crochet increase, which means working two double crochets into each stitch around, you'll end up with 24 double crochets total. Work your first double crochet into the same stitch as the join. And then mark this first stitch. After that, work a second double crochet into the same stitch for the increase. Continue increasing, working two double crochet into each stitch until you've done a full round of 24 double crochets. You can pause the video while you complete this round. We'll get to the end of round 2, you'll notice that you have 3 stitches left. Now you just need to skip them. These are the join stitch from last round, and the 2 chains from this round that don't count as stitches. Remember, don't double crochet in these stitches gonna treat the ends the same way for each round going forward. Now go ahead and remove the stitch marker and slip stitch to join the round as before. For round 3, chain 2 as before. And then work 1 double crochet into the first stitch and mark it. And then do an increase into the second stitch. 1 double crochet. And another double crochet into the same stitch. Now just repeat this pattern. One double crochet in the first and two double crochet in the next. 12 times for a total of 26 stitches. One double crochet and two double crochet in the next.
keep this pattern. When round is done, skip those last three stitches and join with a slip stitch. For round four, chain two first, and then work the first five double crochets. Mark the first one. chain 15 and then skip the next 8 stitches counting from the last double crochet walked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 now work 10 double crochet starting in the ninth stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook into the ninth stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. You're gonna have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through two. This leaves an opening for your pet's ear. Continue for the next nine double crochets. And after that, chain 15 again. Now skip 8 more stitches and work 5 double crochets. Join with a slip stitch. For round 5, chain 2 and simply work 50 double crochets around. I'm going to explain the chain portion in more detail later. In the previous round, you chained 15 stitches. Each chain has a V-shape made of two loops. Now we're going to work double crochet into just a loop closest to you for each chain. You'll go through just one loop instead of the usual two. Then complete the double crochet as normal. Now you can continue and pause the video here to complete this round. Working double crochet the inner loop of chains and double crochet normally elsewhere for a total of 50 stitches.
join with a slip stage. Now chain 2 for round 6. For this round, the pattern is 4 double crochets in the first 4 stitches and then increase in the 5th stitch. Repeating 12 times for a total of 60 stitches. Two, three, four, and then increase here. Now just repeating the same pattern all the way around. After the last stitch, we can fasten off for an invisible join, cut the yarn with scissors, pull your hook out. We're gonna do an invisible finish in the marked stitch. So remove the stitch marker first. And then insert your hook from the inside, which near the magic ring tail. And then pull the tail through. Now insert a hook into this loop. And pull the tail through. With that, our head body is complete. And we're gonna deal with the tails later. Now let's make the two little horns. Start with a slip knot. Then chain 8 Then find the first chain stitch and slip stitch through its loop to form a ring Then chain 2 for round 2. Now work double crochet into the same stitch as the join. Mark that stitch. Then continue working double crochet into the inner loop of each chain stitch around, which is the loop closest to you. You will have 8 double crochets total. Before joining, flip your work so the completed stitches are on the bottom. Then join with a slip stitch as before. Around 3, chain 2 and double crochet in each stitch around, then join with a slip stitch.
from round four, chain two first, remove the stitch marker. We're going to do four decreases, yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Now yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. You're going to have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the three loops on your hook. That's your first decrease. Mark that stitch and continue for three more decreases. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the three loops on your hook. After four decreases, join with the slip stitch as before. Round 5 begins differently as we're switching to single crochet. You just need to chain 1 for the head. Then single crochet increase in each stitch around. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the two loops on your hook. Mark your first single crochet. And then make an increase in the same stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull that two. Continue until you have a total of eight single crochets. And then join with the slip stitch. For round 6, chain 1, and then 1 single crochet in the first stitch, and increase in the second stitch. Repeat it four times until you have 12 stitches in total. Then join with the slip stitch. Around seven, chain one first, and then two single crochets in the first two stitches. One. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. Then increase in the third stitch. Now you can have four stitches. Repeat this pattern four times until you have a total of 16 stitches. Join this round. And chain one for round eight. For this round, we're gonna make three single crochets in the first three stitches, then increase in the fourth stitch. Two, three, and then increase. Now we have five stitches. Repeat four times for a total of 20 stitches. Fasten off after the 20th single crochet with an invisible join as before.
insert your hook into the marked stitch pull the tail through and then insert your hook into this loop pull the tail out that completes one horn you can pause the video here and do the second one once both little horns are complete we can move in all the loose ends you can use a smaller crochet hook or a yarn needle for this for each horn end find the nearby chain stitch loop and knot the yarn tail securely Then thread the tail through loops moving towards the center. When you reach the center, pull the tail through to the inside and cut it off. Then deal with the tail at the bottom the same way, knot it near the end, pull it through inward and snip it off. For the head, pull the magic ring tail very tight. And then cut the tail. For the edge tails, not near the end. Then wave the tail through a few nearby loops before snipping off. Next is to crochet the hat strap. Fold the hat like this. We're gonna make the strap here. Insert your hook from inside to out. Pull up a loop. Leave a bit of extra tail for waving in. As you chain, place the tail between the hook and walking yarn to hide it within the stitches. Do it about 8 times, then continue chaining normally. I chained 40, which seemed long enough. Then we're gonna chain 5 more chains and work a double crochet 4 together. Starting from the second to last chain, yarn over, insert your hook into the second to last chain, and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, then repeat this method. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Now do it two more times. The last time. Now you have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through the five loops on your hook. And then we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five, 
and then make another double crochet fall together from the second to last chain yarn over insert your hook into the second last chain pull up a loop yarn over put through the first two loops and then do it three more times Now you have 5 loops on your hook, yarn over, put the 5 loops on your hook, then chain 1, and then find the little hole here, and do a slip stitch to join them together. And then leaving length on the toe. Now sew around the edge And then make a knot to secure it. Thread the tail to the inside and trim off. Then trim the remaining tail from the chain. Repeat for the other strap. To attach the horn, fold the hat and pin the horn in place. So around the bottom edge of each horn, leaving tail ends inward. Not off inside. And repeat for the other horn. Ta-da! The little hat is all done. Isn't it so cute? Since Mickey wouldn't cooperate, I used a little bunny to model with the ear poking through the horse. Looking forward to see how yours turned out. Thank you so much for watching here. You can also support my work by purchasing finished items from my shop. All the materials used in this video style will be available. See you all next time and happy hooking!